Welcome, 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 welcome to the channel. Welcome again, welcome again, my people. Yo, man, thanks for stopping by. So today, I am in my corn field. And we all know corn take a like, like about three to four months before it can start harvest some corn. But normally, I choose to go the organic way when it comes to backyard farming because that's that's the way it's more healthier, healthier for us guys so you can keep on watching I'm gonna show you the home remedy I use to prevent all those bugs and all those worms yeah man as you can see it You can see them here being eaten by a lot of bugs. Showing where I'm going for the farm. You might look on anyone one here. Them here get eaten by a lot of bugs and worms. So, farming. When I talk about farming, it also need a lot of care just like how you take care of your body because if you don't care for the crops you're not gonna get the right growth of your product so you have to take care of you know, crops just like how you take care of yourself we all know our body need a lot of water nutrients your yeah, man so you have to give the crops them the same thing but for me organic way on the backyard so I'm gonna show you what we use so we'll stick up and we'll stick to the video the same way we'll get into the video. We'll just like show no one going but the can feel. Yeah man, so big up on yourself who you know I watch from. Yes man, I'm talking to you. Big up where you watch from. And thanks for stopping by again, you know. So you're gonna learn something today. What I use on my farm. Yeah man. So let's get into the video guys. I will show you will be so surprised about this. Home remedy. Yeah, man. Tell us it's the country life when you're in the country and in the backyard. Tell us that the place is nice. You know, a lot of people overseas want to come to Jamaica just to walk on the farm in the backyard, same way, organic. Yeah, man. So now I'll show you what I'm going right right now guys. Yeah man, see the thing here? As you can see, 100% vegetable oil. This is what I use. And also I use soap liquid. So the soap look we're gonna prevent all the bugs, we're gonna repel the bugs them and keep off the worm. So you know me have my spray pan. I know this is not um, harmful. Can throw some, yeah man. Can throw some all night. Throw to what you prefer to use, but you know we're gonna use a limitation. Same way, everything what you do, we have a limitation. You cannot use too much. We have to understand the mixing ratio, but it's not gonna cause any harm to the plant or anything. But always use it in moderation. Yeah man, so we're gonna fill this. You can see it is in liter about one, two, three. I think it's in liter. Yeah man, so we, we fill it up with water, then we spray the crops.
Yeah, yeah man, so there is no place like the country, you know? Country life is the best in the backyard. Go through the same way. I'll show you how I go and see way up on the farm. So when you use this product, you can see result in about two days. So yes, my paper. Yeah, mama just put some of the organic spray on the corn. So normally the aisle, the vegetable aisle always leave a sheen, a nice sheen on the corn. Always leave a nice sheen. Yeah, mommy, I walk through, but in a few months time, you see them can here start broke top. It will have, have a look at thing at the top where you just can use and also feed your goats. So normally, as a farmer also, if you raise a lot of goats, you can plant up your corn. When you plant your corn, you know so you can harvest it also eat it and also use the trash for the goats so that can save you a lot of money from buying bag feeding because sometimes grass is very scarce you know so now if you just do what you do put in work and one day you pay off yeah man because sometimes I know a lot of persons out there trying with their crops and because they try and fail a lot of times they kind of give up but giving up is not the option because me as a small farmer backyard farmer also if I was like a person to easily give up I would not reach where I'm at right now because can I remember back in the days even now Plant my crops, they have neighbors, goats, and pigs always come and destroy our crops. And kind of feel a little bit demotivated, but giving up is not the option. So I, I always keep on pushing. Yeah, man, I always keep on pushing. You can see the side here, it's kind of bit. Yes, when I talk about ya, this is caused by neighbors, animal, them come and dig out the root and destroy all the crops and yeah man, you see them can here now, them kinda destroy by the animals them, you see the pigs you know. A pigs cause them here and things and we still not give up. I work hard to see me still not giving up. Yeah, man. So, tell me what you think about this home remedy. My people, tell me what you think about it. 
And you know we have a little drought the other day. Because them never really get no water like that. Just get a little bit of rain the other day. So the car them can shoot up you now. Yeah man, I'm gonna shoot up you now. So ready to put in, put in, put on some nice size can. This is not a hybrid can though. This is just a regular can. Some people plant sweet can, but this is just a the regular cans. So if you learned something from this video, you can like and also you can share and also subscribe if you learned something about this video. So my people, we well, can look out for many many more backyard farming soon and, and I know you all will learn something about it. So keep tuned to the channel and just one love and one heart and remember always never give up